Hi YouTube, Colin, MM0 OPX here with another uh, video for you. Um, I've been a little bit um, quiet of late, um, but I have been busy. Um, this is an idea I've had in my mind for, for quite some time. And it took quite a bit of thought to actually what I wanted to do, um, what I wanted it to be used for, and how I wanted to configure it and so on. So it's been half built for probably a month or two. Um, but with uh, obviously the situation going on, I've actually been struggling to get some of the standard parts that I use on a Justy Wave. So um, this week um, I received some uh, some final connectors. So this allowed me to actually finish um, the, the, this prototype. So this is the um, a Justy Wave Multi. I'm calling it, um, and it's a multi uh, multi use antenna system. A bit of a jack of all trades. Um, so a little bit of history lesson. So this is the um, the Justy Wave. Um, essential so this is my favorite um favorite antenna um so this has been going since um probably november december last year something 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 like that um, and the adjusted wave multi is, is is similarly based on this it uses you know same enclosure uses the same so239 fitting uh, uses the same swing bolt um configuration for attaching ground wires um but it only has one reel Put that back aside so so why would you actually want to use this well there's a number of configurations you could actually you could use it so off the top of my head you can actually use this as a, a vertical just a quarter wave vertical now we have equipped this with um these are 52 mil uh, clamps um that, that fit the spider beam spider beam 12 meter hd pole i think that's a fantastic pole and a great base if you've got one of those poles you, you'll you'll always have a use for it so you can clamp this to the, the spider beam pole. Um, you can actually extend, you can actually extend this wire out as long as you need. Um, there's my uh, call sign falling down there. So I don't have any band markers on this um, as yet. So on this reel, um, I actually have 60 meters of, of wire, um, which is, you can see, but as much as I could get on here, if I could have fitted 80, I would have put 80 meters on it. Um, and the reason I put 60 on it is that if you were to use this in, say, an inverted L configuration, you could run 160 on it. Um, if you wanted to make a, a loop for 60 meters, you can make a full wave loop for 60 meters uh, for this. Um, so, obviously, I talked about a vertical. You could use it as a vertical, uh, an inverted L for all the HF bands. Um, you could make, a, as, as I say, a full wave loop. Um, but what I've actually done is I've actually um, I've wired this. So this connection here is actually connected to the center element of the coax. And this, uh, this, this bolt here is actually connected to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to the ground side, the shield side. So what I'll do is I'll get the multimeter out and just show you, uh, show you what I've done here. So center connector. So the center connectors There we go. Some noise. So, so you can see the center connectors connected to the reel. You can see it's also connected to here to this lug as well. Here. And from the shield side, we're connected to here and we're connected to here. So if you're using in a in a vertical in a vertical or just in a an inverted L configuration, you don't need these. But say you wanted to use it in a full wave loop. Well, what you could do is you could take your wire off you can actually run it around your loop now if you were to make an invis loop um for say 40 or 60 meters if you make the feed point if you make a rectangular um rectangular uh, a loop um, or a rectangle and you feed it in the middle of one of the long sides you'll actually have a match close to 50 ohms and it probably doesn't need any other sort of um um, uh, transformer device ballon. So what you can do is you can wind this out through your uh, around your rectangle. You could bring it back, and you could actually hook it. You could actually hook it on here. So there's two washers here. There we go. Two washers here. Two washers. So you could just you can get a connection there. So. Imagine that was your loop, put your coax in there, and there you've got your loop. So you can do that for any band. But if you wanted to elevate your loop, 
So as your loops get higher, um, the impedance uh, raises, uh, rises. So say you had it up, you know, a decent height, and you say, well, actually, I need some sort of, uh, I need a four to one ballon. What you could actually do is you could actually have a, a standalone four to one ballon, two and a half one to ballon, whatever, whatever you may, whatever it, uh, you may need, and you could actually hook it to this. So you hook your your, your ballon to this, and then you just put your coax into the ballon. Um, um, so that's 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 one option. Um, I guess if you wanted to make a a half wave end fed, you could have a 40, 49 to one or a sixty four to one transformer, um, and you could connect it uh, to here. You can, and then you know Bob's your uncle. So there's there's loads of options for this antenna. Um, I will be launching this on the website in the coming weeks here, um, and I think it will represent a very 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 good uh, value for money. Um, so the adjust the wave uh, essential. So this this uh, this this is on sale for one hundred and nine pounds, um, and this will be cheaper. So this will this will be a bit cheaper, um, but it's still still a quality uh, unit. Um, as I say, it shares many many features from the adjust the wave. Everything is all all fittings are stainless steel. Um, the SO two three nine is PTFE dielectric, uh, gold plated uh, contacts. Um, uh, the wire is three one six stainless. Um, it uses the existing reel. Um, another feature that's going to be on here. So I, one one change I need to make to this is I need to change this the center spindle bolt. One positive change I've made on adjust the waves going forward is I've actually um, installed a very basic uh, drag system. So when you've got the the wing nut fully backed off, you can see the reel will not overrun. And then. Once you want to use it, just tighten it up, and that's it. So the uh, the multi will be the same, but due to the, uh, the the configuration on how the bolt and where it's mounted, I just need a, a five millimeter longer bolt. So I'll order that up and I'll swap that over. That'll take me two minutes uh, to do that. So that's the adjusted wave multi. Um, I hope you like it. And as I say, within the next couple of weeks, um, I'll uh, I'll get some pictures and I'll put it on the website. Uh, hopefully, hopefully with a price. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, next video will probably be some testing. Um, initially, I'll test it in just as a vertical, in a vertical configuration, perhaps an inverted L as well. Um, and uh, I'd actually like to to make an invis loop for sixty meters or forty meters. Um, so I'll get some uh, some short poles. I'll get it laid out in the park, and uh, we'll get it hooked up to the analyzer, and we'll see how it does. So. Um, bye for now and uh, we'll see you on the next video.